Welcome to the new AppScan standard interface, redesigned for efficiency and ease of use. In this short introduction, we'll be focusing on what's new or changed in version 1007. The first new thing you'll see when you open the new AppScan standard is the home screen. This gives you easy access to the three scan wizards and the main configuration dialog box. You can also load a scan, import explore data, import a scan from AppScan on Cloud or AppScan Enterprise, and of course open recent scans and templates. The Learn tab gives you access to tutorials, demo files, and additional resources. Let's open a scan. As you can see, the main AppScan workspace has been completely redesigned. The new dashboard gives you a summary of the scan data, including status, starting URL and any errors during the scan, total issues, tested elements, and a bar chart of issues by severity, and a summary of the explore data. You can click on dashboard items to open the relevant issue information or explore data. The new navigation bar on the left offers the main steps in your typical workflow. Configuration, data, issues, and reports. It can be collapsed to give you extra space to view your data. The context toolbar just below the menu bar gives you context sensitive options depending on status. In this case, since the scan is already complete, I could restart a full scan, re-explore using the existing configuration or retest using the existing explore data. You can click tools options and use the updated options dialog box to toggle between light mode and the new dark mode. The next item in the navigation bar is configuration which opens the familiar configuration dialog box with all its detailed options. Data view shows the structure of your site and gets populated in real time as AppScan explores your application. In issues view, which now includes remediation tasks, the issues list is searchable. You can filter issues You can add and remove columns, and you can export the currently displayed issues to CSV. The Details pane has three tabs, Issue Information, Request Response, and How to Fix. And in many cases, the How to Fix tab includes programming language specific details for a variety of languages. The report dialog remains unchanged. You can now open the scan log from the status bar in any of the views. And a useful new feature is the filter to show errors only. This concludes the overview.